again to another reading of Rhapsody of Realities. Hallelujah! Today is August the 18th and our man of God will be sharing a message entitled, He is the way, not a way. Hallelujah! The opening verse is from the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12 and I read, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Hallelujah. The Bible says there's no salvation in any other, for there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. This statement gives us no chance to think that there might be some other means for salvation. Salvation is only in the name of Jesus. The Lord himself was definite about this. Some people think otherwise and believe there's more than one way to get to God. In fact, they claim that Jesus is one of the many ways to God. Before taking their claim seriously, one first has to ask them how they came about what they are saying and on what authority is it based. They also need to tell if they've ever successfully gotten to God. If they cannot answer these questions, then their claims are false and they have no idea what they are saying. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus unambiguously declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He did not say, I am one of the ways. Neither did he say, I am a way. He said, I am the way. So, to answer the question, how many ways are there to God? The simple answer is, there is only one way, and that's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's no other way besides Him. How do I know this? It is because Jesus said so, and the same Jesus went to heaven alive. The people who founded the various religions of the world don't have a similar testimony. When they died, their adherents could only hope they went to heaven. But Jesus went up into heaven alive in the presence of 120 witnesses. They saw him go. They saw him levitate and ascend into the clouds before their eyes. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is alive and his name still has power today. That's why we see so many mighty miracles happening around the world. These miracles are a testimony that He is alive. Salvation is only in His name and you can receive it today if you are yet to do so by praying the prayer of salvation which you will find on page 76 of this devotional. Or you could stay till the end of this message and let us guide you through the prayer of salvation. Hallelujah! Now, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, can you raise your holy hands and let's take this prayer together. Dear Father, thank you for the blessing of salvation and for the gift of eternal life, which is available to all in Christ. I boldly proclaim the message of salvation to those around me with conviction and demonstration of the Spirit such that many may come to know Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Now, for you to understand today's message better, please take time to do some further studying on these following scriptures. From the book of Romans chapter 10 verses 8 to 13, the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, and the book of 1 John chapter 5 verses 11 to 12. Glory be to God. Now, it is true that Jesus is the only way. However, as our man of God has mentioned, during the healing streams, we are not to condemn any religion or their religious leader. 
all we should do is to intercede for them and let them see the true light. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. See you again. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Giving you life a meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody